men are women of prayer. They are women of the word. Prayer and the word of God to the child of God is like the two legs of a person. In the realm of the spirit, your one leg must stand on prayer and your second leg must stand on the word. Prayer and the word is like the combination of dynamite and detonator. Prayer and the word is like the combination of, of weapon and ammunition. They must be merged together. And that makes outstanding Christians and kingdom stars. We are going to look at the various examples. We already saw the example of the apostles who said they would give themselves to prayer and the ministry of the world who else in scripture did we see operated the weapon of prayer and the word number one abraham in genesis chapter 19 verse 27 abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the lord he got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord he was a man who had a stand with God at the place of prayer in Genesis chapter 18 verse 23 to 25 Abraham was negotiating for the freedom of Sodom and Gomorrah and Abraham drew near and said will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked but adventure there be 50 righteous within the city will you not will you also destroy and not spare the place for the 50 righteous that are therein that be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked and that the righteous should be as the wicked that be far from thee shall not the judge of all the earth do right and the lord said and he was communicating with God. That was Abraham at the place of prayer. What about the word? Genesis chapter 18 verse 17 to 19. God was bearing testimony. He said and the Lord said. Shall I hide from Abraham. That which I do. Verse 18. Seeing that Abraham shall become surely. Become a great and mighty nation. And all nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. That they shall keep the way of the Lord. Which means he, he was in possession of that way of the Lord. To do justice and judgment. So Abraham was a man of prayer. He was also a man who had possession of the ways of the Lord. The word of God. No wonder he was such a giant in the faith. That was Abraham. What about David? In Psalm 55 verse 17, David speaking in Psalm 55 verse 17 said, he said, evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. So David had a schedule of three times of prayer in a day, three times of prayer in a day. What about the study of the word? Psalm 119 verse 97. 119 verse 97. He said, oh how I love your word. It is my meditation all day. It is my meditation all day. It is my meditation all day. Psalm 119 verse 97. Psalm 119 verse 113. He also said in, Psalm, in verse 113 of Psalm 119. That he has preferred the word of God. He has, he has abhorred hatred. He said, I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. And then verse 163 of Psalm 119. He said, I hate and I abhor lying, but thy law do I love. 
So we have, we have seen Abraham, a man of prayer and a man of the word. We have seen David, a man of prayer, a man of the word. What about Daniel? Daniel is well known. In Daniel chapter 6 verse 10, the Bible made it clear like David, Daniel prayed three times a day. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave times to God before his God as he did a fourth time. So Daniel was a man who prayed. He had a rigid schedule of three times a day. What about the word of God? Daniel chapter 9 verse 2. Daniel said, I understood by books. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to, the, to Jeremiah the prophet. So Daniel was acquainted with the scripture to the point where he ransacked the book of Jeremiah and knew exactly when the captivity of his people was to end. Daniel was a man of the world and a man of prayer. David was a man of the world and a man of prayer. Abraham was a man of the world and a man of prayer. What about Elijah? Oh, that is very obvious. Elijah in James chapter 5 verse 17, scripture speaking said, Elias was a man of subject to like passions as we are and he prayed and he prayed and he prayed and now Elijah was a symbol of prayer in scripture just like Daniel Elijah prayed what about the word of God when Elijah was calling down fire he said Lord let the people know that I have done these things according to your word it is your word I am following that was in first Kings chapter 18 verse 36 I am following your word I am obeying your word and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said Lord God of Abraham Isaac and of Israel let it be known this day that you are the God in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things at thy word I was not just acting your word fueled me your word propelled me that was Abraham man of prayer man of the word David Man of prayer, man of the world. Daniel, man of prayer, man of the world. Elijah, man of prayer, man of the world. What of the prophet Samuel? Samuel said, God forbid that I should sin against God in not praying for you. First Samuel chapter 12 verse 23. God forbid that I should, moreover as for me, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. So according to, Dan, to, to, to Samuel, prayerlessness was a sin. Especially praying, pr failure to pray for those who are our responsibilities. God forbid that I should sin against God in ceasing to pray for you. And I will teach you the good and right way. So he was a man of prayer and a man of the world. But furthermore, in 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 21, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 21, the Bible said, And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. So Samuel was a man of prayer and Samuel was a man of the word of God. Am I communicating at all? Can I give you two more examples? Example number six, Paul the Apostle. Paul the Apostle was a man of prayer. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, he said, Praying always with all prayer. He's talking about himself. He's talking about the church. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Watching there to, there unto, with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Praying always. Praying abundantly. Praying bereketatiously. That was Paul the Apostle. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17, he was also speaking. He said, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. He was a man of prayer and a man of the word. Ephesians 6, 18, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. And then Acts chapter 20 verse 32. He said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. I recommend the word to you. The same word that has built me and given me an inheritance. I recommend the word to you. Dedication to prayer and the word. Finally, 
number seven the master jesus was see a person of prayer mark chapter 1 verse 35 mark 1 35 he went to a solitary place and there he prayed Luke 6 12 in the morning rising a great while before day he departed into a solitary place a great while before day mark 1 35 he departed into a solitary place a great while before day before it will near daybreak he went out departed into a solitary place and there prayed that is the one to whom in whose name everybody prays was also praying how much more you and i in luke chapter 6 verse 12 he went up to a mountain in those days and he continued all night all night prayer did not start today his own was a raw all night praying no nope. no drum beat in in the middle all night till morning if jesus who had no need for anything he had no need for nothing could pray all night till morning how much more you and me and he prayed what about the word did he read the word yes luke chapter 4 verse 16 even though himself was the word yet he attended to the word and and, and, and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read go on verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place he was used to that place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me he had ransacked the book and when it was time for the fulfillment of that prophecy in that book he opened to it and read it for everybody to hear is god speaking to anybody here at all so the word read the word the word studied the word ransacked the word no wonder he shot arrows and didn't miss target what are the products of dedic of dedication to prayer we'll do that do the products of dedication to the word and draw the conclusion very quickly what are the products of dedication to prayer if a child of God, a, 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 woman, a man of God, a, a, a woman of God, a daughter of God, a son of God is dedicated to prayer. What do you expect? Number one, the altar of prayer is the altar of transformation. Prayer changes people. We are changed. Lives changed. Also changed into his likeness.